Hemis Jones, and Dr. Buford, just getting started on the left shoulder. We're looking at it from the back to the front. We've got a fair amount of arthritis on the inside here, inside the joint that is, and we're using this instrument called the shaver just to smooth out some of these rough areas as best we can. The area of the rotator cuff tear is right here at the top of the screen. And we can expose that a little bit more you can see how my shaver just disappears right through that hole there. Um, I don't see much else inside the joint that we didn't expect. And what we were expecting was, again, the arthritis that we could tell from the studies. I don't see any loose pieces to worry about. But we will go ahead and get to work on the rotator cuff tear in just a minute. Pause, please. Okay, so we're just showing you how we tie down the tendon to the bone. This is the first suture from an anchor that has three sutures. And we're just tying this knot here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and clip the suture tails and show you where we're at. So here's the rest of the tear right here. We've still got some more sutures coming from the anchor. We're going to use those next to tighten down the rest of, rest of this uh, tendon. So we'll show you some more in a minute. Okay, we're all done. It's been a while since we showed you. About 25, 30 minutes to get this all fixed. We've got two anchors in and six stitches and one side to side stitch. And we've got that completely anchored back to the bone. I'm very happy with the way that looks. And hopefully that'll heal and do the trick for it, okay? So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.